guys, how you doing? Listen, I got another tip for you today. How you doing? It's your boy, Robert King, founder of Assisted Living University, the most intensive, comprehensive, educational online training ever taught in the healthcare industry. Okay, so check this out. I'm focusing now on all my existing RALF owners, all my existing residential ALF owners. I'm focusing them now. Now, my newbies, I ain't forgot about y'all. Y'all still can go over to uh, ALF uh, ownership.com, ALF ownership.com, grab that training on my system on the three O's, how to open, own, and operate. But right now, I'm focused on my residential ALF current owners. Remember, I did the survey. And when I did the survey, you know, hundreds and hundreds, I think about six, seven hundred people responded to the survey. These are residential LF owners that said the biggest struggle they're having is literally residents. And I'm not talking about trouble residents. I'm talking about not enough residents. So I created this course designed basically by you, but for you to help you fill your house. Now, let me make this very clear, because I see a lot of this rumbling going on out there. Whenever I start talking about filling your house, making six figures net, enjoying your lifestyle, somebody with the holy, roly roly moly want to step on and say, oh, well, it's not about the money. It's about the care. It's about taking care of the elderly. Literally, really, come on. The common denominator, the foundation of everything we do is about caring for the residents. I'm a strong component of caring for the residents. As a matter of fact, when you graduate from a city living university as a newbie, we raise our right hand and we pledge to put people before profits. So let's stop with all that holy, holy, holy stuff and let's get to the real deal. You need to make money to care for those residents unless you're going to pay it out of your pocket. And if you're going to pay it out of your pocket, then it's really not a business, it's a hobby. So let's get that real. Now, with that being said, every time I speak on growing your facility, filling your facility, getting it to six figures net to you, enjoying your lifestyle without having to be in there every day, let's keep in mind, care comes first. I always say the two C's, care comes before the cash. If you give the quality care, you'll always get the cash. Now, with all that being said, check this out. Here's my tip for today. For all my ALF owners, check it out. Make sure you're not bypassing the funeral directors. Woo! Oh, my God. You're like, really? Funeral directors? What the heck am I going to do hanging out at the funeral home for? Here's the deal. Check this out. Here's the scenario. Mary and John been married 60 years. John is 82 years old, and Mary's been there helping take care of John. They take care of each other, right? Then John passes away, and then you got Mary there now living by herself. Mary can no longer take care of herself. She, she, she's dealing with dementia, a little bit of Alzheimer's, and she's just having a tough time now. John is gone, and there's nobody else in the family that can take care of Mary. So now Mary comes to the funeral home because she has to bury John, right? And then Mary is, you know, she's open to the funeral director and she tells the funeral director, listen, you know, what am I going to do now? John is gone. I got to find a place to stay. I can't stay in that big house by myself. I can't get up and down the stairs. You know, I can't, you know, remember to take my medication. I can't cook for myself. John used to do all the cooking. I don't know what I'm going to do. And then the funeral director turns to Mary and says, listen, Mary, I, I understand what you're going through. Uh, I have somebody I want you to talk to. This guy named Robert has a, an assistant living facility, but don't, 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 don't get scared, Mary. It's not a big facility. It's a house, just like the one you and John been living in. And it's, like, it's right in our area here. And I have a brochure from, from him and I'll give it to you and you give him a call and then go take a look at it. I've seen the videos. It looks really, really, really nice. And I think it'd be a good transition for you, Mary. Why don't you check it out? And then Mary, trusting the funeral home director, which she should, 
is now saying, okay, I feel a little relieved. I might be able to get some help. So then Mary Boone takes the brochure, gives you a call, and as they say, the rest becomes history. Mary moves in, and you love on that funeral director with some edibles. Don't, maybe you don't want to send no flowers because he already dealing with the flowers. Send him an edible, find out what his favorite donut is, and send him a whole 12 of them. Whatever you need to do, love on that funeral director because he will keep sending you leads for your business. So, yes, that's my tip for the day. Funeral homes and funeral directors. You need to have already done your six by six grid around your community, around your facility, so you know how many funeral homes and how many funeral directors are inside of your grid. And those, those are the ones that you start off initially prospecting to fill your house. I right, that's just my tip for today. Let's get this house filled. You want to know, you want to know more about it? Check out the website, do your thing, learn more about how to fill your house because we want to get that house full. All right, God bless you. Peace. Now, oh, 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 I got a few more minutes. Let me close like I like to close. When your heart is right with God and your desire is to please God, God is obligated to bring you into the company of the people that you need to know, to the knowledge of the things that you need to know. That's critical to your success and destiny in life. All right, God bless you. Go fill the house.